Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five career and life lessons really that I picked up while at the Sony Alpha Festival Workshops 2022. So I was only able to attend two out of the three workshops because at some point they kind of overlapped. So that was Henry's light and art session and then Nate's cinematic wedding session. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay to the end of Nate's session because I had an appointment I needed to keep up with. Plus my headache had graduated to migraine. So Henry's session, I always enjoy listening to Henry. I respect his work, his humility, and above all else, he puts God first. I celebrate grace sir. Now, some of you might be asking, Luke, you're a filmmaker. What are you doing attending a photography session? Well, the short answer is I learn from everybody. All I need to do is adapt whatever it is that I learn to suit filmmaking. That's it. If you are shooting babies, you should not be advertising your work to people who are looking for commercial photographers. Not everybody is your client. You can't get deep creative work if you're too scared to try new things. Henry spoke about how sometimes he drew from a place of pain to create some of his works. I mean, yeah, try new things, um, be it in your composition, be it in your color, be it in your less choices, noise choices. What's going on? <clears throat> so yeah, try new things, be it your composition, your colors, your production design, go big, go bold. Number two, in the beginning, you might need to do everything, but eventually you need to specialize. Today, Henry is primarily a portrait photographer. He's a lot more than that, but primarily, please correct me if I'm wrong. And he spoke about how even in that portrait photography, he still draws from his knowledge and experience while working in things in the past, like fashion, for example. I can identify with this one. Back in 2017, I did everything. And I mean everything from music videos that you will never see, thank God, to travel videos, to birthday videos, even barriers, Femi, Thunder, we fight. But over time, I have narrowed down and I am still narrowing down to just a few of the types of work that I do today. And number three, which is my favorite by the way, you don't need a house in Banana Island as proof that God has blessed you. Be content, give yourself time to grow, and always give thanks because you are not where you started. I mean, that, that, that explains itself, come on. Now I actually have five more major points that I learned from Harry, but I'm not going to share everything with you now. For what? On to Nate. So I said to go through the clips one by one to pick out and while I was doing that, I was creating the story in my head what, what I'm trying to do and everything. Deliberately think about the emotion that you want to evoke in your audience. Now you can do this by carefully choosing the sound bites or the dialogue, the pieces of dialogue that you put in the film. You can do this by the colors you use, how you color grade it. You can do this by the music. All this comes together, you know, to create that remarkable experience, you know, that would make the brides cry and even some grooms, you know, weep when they watch your film. <laughs> Sorry, there's a noise I was hearing. And finally, number five, mirror the energy of the bride. Sorry, the client then the client is usually the bride if they're a gentle couple give them some gentle music you know music bird you know but if you notice they're a gra gra hyper kind of couple you know give them a shake. but more importantly in my opinion keep story at the forefront of everything you're doing interpret their story they hired you for a reason because they admire how you tell stories so always remember to add that spice that extra sauce not just in wedding filmmaking now but in content creation generally i know no i don't do weddings nobody should call me it's really stressful i don't need that in my life right now and i've had enough of his cameraman huge thanks to henry and nate for the opportunity to learn from them and most importantly sony for organizing this i mean the entire thing was free they even gave us item 7 for free come on god bless you and that is it for today remember to subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this smash that like button and most importantly share with your friends your whatsapp group your status whatever it is that you do just post the link it won't cost you anything literally just don't hold this information freely you have received freely you should give so see you next week where i will unfailingly 
talk about how to make your audio sound better for your videos. I promise.